Cannibalistic. <laughs> no, I just think the whole world is just like turning in on itself. You know? I mean, I think there's always conflict. I think she loves. I think she loves her husband, and, and that never goes away. As feelings of betrayal and, and other things set in, like needing to protect her children, which I think really takes over very strongly this season. But she's never without. I mean, who on the show is without? Well, maybe Gemma sometimes without conflict, but she's not without conflict. <laughs> Is she operating from a place of love, or is it just desperation? How does she react to what you just went through? I don't think she's operating from a place of love. Keep existing. She's desperate, too, but, but she's pretty clear-headed, and, and I think it's mostly maternal love. It's is there anything you can say that you're really looking Were you excited to find out what direction they were going with her to the season? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I was really excited. I sat down with Kurt at the beginning of the season and had a long, long conversation, and, and uh, it made me very excited. So it's going to be good. I mean, I think she kind of keeps rising, you know, in terms of her own strength and her, her mental fortitude, although, you know, there's also, What do you think it took for You could say there's a slow, you know, there, she also has moments of revelation where she's like, what the hell has become of me, you know? So it's, it's sad and scary. It's a sad and scary season. It's going to be good. Exciting for you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like tapping to the